Hey guys, Alvar W725 here. In this video, it's going to be me talking about the latest Naruto and Bleach manga chapters. And and the, just to point this out before I get to this review is that I read this thread in the mangafox.com. Um, people saying that the ma Bleach manga is getting very um, less popular and is on its way to getting canceled. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think so. The Bleach manga is way, way too popular at this point to get canceled by just because some people are disliking this arc. And, and I don't think it's not, it's nowhere near getting canceled. I don't think it's going to get canceled anytime soon. Well, I hope never. And just the people that dislike this arc, or what's going on, I'm telling you guys, do not underestimate the manga. Never underestimate the plot. It's going to get better as time progresses. It takes time. Let the author think of doing what he needs to do in order to get yeah, get us viewers the enjoyment of our lives and watch and reading the manga in the anime series. So guys that don't like this arc so far, do not, I'm, I repeat, do not underestimate the manga. Okay, so I just want to point that out. And now let's start our review. Uh, let's see, which one should we talk about first? Alright, Naruto Manga Chapter 540 Madara Strategy. This one is um getting a little bit more interesting. It's not the greatest part yet. Well, the climax anyway, but it's getting there. And so this manga chapter starts out with Sakura talking to this guy that had a, has a crush on her. And which was kinda weird. Funny and weird at the same time. But then he leaves out of the tent. And then the imposter Neji comes out, even though we already know that that's not Neji. Because the real Neji's out there in the war still hurt. And, um, well, after over, over exerting himself. Okay, so Sakura and the so called Neji talk. They have a long discussion about the culprit, um, about the case of the spy, in that, um, so, um Sakura, um, Neji keep having their long discussion about it, and as pro um, as the conversation progresses even more further, the um, Sakura gets more suspicious, and then the Pastor Neji says, "Oh, can you heal my arm?" And she uh, he she says, "Yeah, sure." Then the Pastor Neji takes out his kunai and tries to stab stab her with it, but guess what? It didn't work. Take that, you Neji imposter. Yes. So, um, I already, that was, I already knew that was going to happen. That wasn't really, not really surprising because I already knew Sai was a very capable ninja of not letting an imposter, somebody, an imposter get the better of her. And so, then, then, then the imposter Neji turns out to be the, the Akatsuki member, Zet, Zetsu, that's his name. And um, Zetsu, the soccer wants to know how you made how you made um, Neji like how you. She was like, how how you make his transformation so equal and his chakra and all that and and then she remembers um, about looking up information about Gisei dying of Killer Bean and Rakage and um, then she then um, she made another information about. Um, Zetsu um, was at the um, Hokage summit and did what he did, and then she remembers that um, how, of course, he made that perfect transformation of Neji. It was revealed that he mixes the chakra. Well, once he has a vic an opponent's chakra, he mixes it onto his own and transforms the exact person of his and make it as seem as the real person's chakra. And well, my bad if I didn't describe that correctly, but, uh, well, anyway, then these, then these other guys come in and tend saying, what's going on? What's going on? Like, what's happening? And Sakura's uh, saying, I'm going to contact, contact the HQ, and she tells them that you two get care of Zet Zetsu. And then it goes to the scene where Suzune is banishing up Tong the the pig, oink, oink, <laughs> and, um, She's she's telling um Tonton that you you live over Azura yourself and lifting the crates and on all that heavy labor he was doing. 
trying to help out. And so, then it goes to the next scene where I think it was yeah, Itachi and Nagato uh, talking about uh, Madara, um, Madara and that there's no way that uh, he's making us do this for for like there's there's a reason why he's doing what he's doing to Itachi and um, Nagato. That's what they're noticing. And that um, Nagato explains that he, Madara has an already original plan and that he has an ally. Well, this has Kabuto, honestly. Um, interfering with the plan. So after that, I think it goes to the... What's the next scene? Oh, where these guys are going to the... No, no, what was it? You're going to the bar Like, <laughs> yeah, these guys were, I guess, out doing something. Or being watched... Keeping a watch out. And then there's this other ninja guy that just comes out of nowhere and says, Do you want... Do you want some red? Do you want... Has some red? Something he said like that. And um, the two guys are like, What the... Like, yeah, I'm like, what in the world does he mean? <laughs> and then he, um, I guess he let her assassins down. And then there's this other guy that's hiding in the um, shadows and all that. And then there's, then there's another scene where, as I said earlier, that that's the real Neji is still hurt. And that um, Kiba and, um, is trying to talk to him to go to the um, medical props. And Neji doesn't want to. And then, hey, funny part was that Kiba, he told Kiba to shut up, and he was looking at Akamar instead of him. And then Kiba's like, "You, sh you keep, uh, you, you keep saying, you came, you're so exhausted that you can't even look at, uh, you can tell from a human from a dog." And and that was a really funny scene. And then it goes to Shino, and not to uh, Shino warns him not not to overexert herself either, because it'd be up uh, the um. Byakugan you know, takes a lot of, you know, chakra. And, and she, she says, she remembers Naruto and saying that Naruto, um, they tried to protect Naruto and she cannot fail by an option. And then, let's see what else it goes to. Um, and then it goes to the scene where it's back at Shikamaru's dad, Shikaku, uh, what was it? Shikaku. Shikaku, yeah, and uh, if that's right, uh, um, they find out the situation now that uh, everybody is now murdering, assassinating the ninjas, and and all that. And then Shikamaru, Shikamaru's dad come, tries to come up or try to analyze the situation, trying to find a counter strategy to um, help to prevent this from you know happening or reducing the problem. And then this is where we hit the end where the Rakage, surprising one I really like, the Rakage and Tsunade comes and stop Killer B and Naruto. Now that's interesting. I'm going to find out in the next volume when it comes out. Not next volume chapter. Seeing what's gonna happen on there. I think I think Tsunade is not going to fight Naruto considering considering how she knows He's like a good person, and I think she understands what he's trying to do for the war. Uh, for the uh, war. I mean, um, and I read in the bottom that it said Naruto versus the Rakage, so I think Naruto is gonna fight the Rakage, and I think Killer B is also gonna fight with him, and I think Suzume's not gonna be a part of it. Well, she might be, but she's not gonna actually be the victim in that case scenario. All right, well that wraps up with the um, Naruto chapter. 540 modern strategy. Now next we're moving on to the Bleach one. Bleach manga chapter 449. Uh, what was it? How to get how to uh, be hair not to something drug. I forget what it was called. But uh, anyway, this chapter was about um, still going on. Go each goes in this game world with um you um you two. Um, Yaikoko, whatever his name is, um, he's in his game world, and he's fighting Genjo still, and all that, and oh yeah, I forgot to mention, the beginning of the chapter is when, this is this, mir this mysterious story I'm so curious about, like who is it, because um, I'm thinking it's either Kyren or Rukia, because if I read in the 
other manga chapters before that Kari that uh Yutaki took in uh Kari and it was doing something. So maybe that might be her, but I don't know. I'm still curious of who this is. Kise said, uh put be your uh, ratio in there. And then the mysterious figure goes, okay. And then goes in there. So yeah, that's still a mystery. And now it's going back to where each girl's still in the game. Oh he may finally gets there and says hi to um Genjo introduction. And and Genjo's like, there's no need to, you know, address me or um uh, address me. You don't have to and all that. Ichigo then she sees Ichigo hurt really badly, but she's a little bit a uh, little shocked and scared. She goes to towards him and tries to heal him and then Genjo, Genjo says, uh, hurry up and try to heal him. And let's see. Oh yeah, Chad. Um, there was one Chad. Um, remembered of what happened with the um, the leader of execution. He stabbed him. And the weird thing is that nobody's never noticed the pain. Like never knows what happened. That's the weird thing. Nobody doesn't know his ability yet. So that's the scary part. But you don't know. It's it's a surprise. You know, um, and then Chad wanted to train on his own to get stronger, you know, to help fight Ichigo, which this, the reason is this, well, I'll explain a little bit later on, and that, um, Yutako, as that's his name, um, the boy that has the full bringing powers of the game, um, create a separate room for Chad, and Chad is going in there now training to get stronger, as I said before. And so um, now it goes back to where, what was it? Yeah, back to where Ohime is still trying to heal Ichigo. And then Genjo, as I said earlier, saying it's too slow. Like, yeah, he's like, you need a little hurry up. Because they're on a rush. And Ohime, um, is, and Ichigo's like, yeah. And Ohime just wants to say, no, you have to wait, wait, Ichigo. Or she says, cool, like you could. <laughs> like, wait, and then. Genjo goes right towards um, Ichigo, but oh, he may blocks the way and does her new move, which this is surprising. Is the Shiten? If I said this right, Shiten Koisasu. I think that's I think that's it. Which this is a this ability is once the attacker hits the shield, well, hits was yeah hits the shield, it can reduce well not reduce but it can it's like an exploding armor as Genjo said. Um, once it, the attacker hits it, it, it um it depashes the force, and at the same time it can self like explode on the opponent. So that's why Genjo called like the exploding armor, which that was kind of neat. All he may learn a new technique. Like yes, all he may is now not gonna be much of a burden to each of you. And this one, all he may explains that uh, during the 17 months after each go fight Aizen that. Oh, her and Chad were not sitting around not doing nothing. They were training their butts off and doing the best they can to not be in a burn to Ichigo. And and uh, all he may goes, uh, every what was it? Um, oh yeah, anytime uh, they knew, like they knew that uh, Ichigo will get his fighting powers back. And they were trained for that moment, so they won't be a burnt, as I said lots of times. It won't be a burnt to Ichigo. And that um, Ichigo says, Thank you, Ohime. And Ohime smiles and says, You're welcome. And then after that, it shows Yoiko, yeah, that's his name, um, had, his, had this game in his hand, like he's waiting for something, or something like that. And then that concludes the end of the Bleach. Chapter 449. So these two mangas are getting really interesting. Indeed. Oh yeah, and if you guys have any, any um, po um, comments below, you can put them down. Yeah, f uh, feel free to. Um, anything I've said, because I'm trying to remember and trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> so not everything I probably said was accurate, but this was a great uh, video, hopefully. And... Yep, just comment, and my next video is going to be about the latest One Piece manga chapter. So, 